Welcome Bulldogs to the Leadership Class of 2027 documentary for Memorial Day. In this film, we will be sharing some facts about this special day to remember. We will also be sharing some ways you can celebrate Memorial Day and stories about soldiers who lost their lives in the line of duty. Ways to celebrate Memorial Day include decorating your house, volunteering your community, or even learning how to play or sing a patriotic song. Another way of celebrating Memorial Day is visiting loved ones that have served for our country and past. Memorial Day was formally known as Decoration Day in 1938 after World War II. Did you know that Memorial Day became a federal holiday in 1971? Memorial Day changes annually because it is always celebrated on the last Monday of May. Memorial Day is one of the only days where flags are ordered to fly half staff and then change to full staff. Did you know that Memorial Day originated when the flower, when flowers were placed on the graves of those who have died in battle? Red poppies are worn on Memorial Day as a sign of remembrance. The National Moment of Remembrance Act was passed in 2000 to encourage people to stop at 3 p.m. and remember those who died in service. A not so fun fact is about 650,000 Americans died during the Civil War and they all have different stories. As a leadership class of 2027 aims to keep the memories of the fallen alive, we also strive to honor our fallen heroes individually. One way we like to do this is by sharing stories of those who fought in our country's wars. In the following portion of the video, you will hear stories of those who have fallen and fought in war. Leslie Ford served in the United States Army Reserves and was a prisoner of war during World War II. He participated in the Bata on Death March on April 9, 1942 where 76,000 prisoners of war were held captive by the Japanese military. They marched about 65 miles to get to prison camps, and marchers were beaten, starved, and shot, thus calling it a death march. Leslie Ford was one of those who survived the march, but later passed. Further records of him were not found because of a huge record fire in the 1970s that destroyed many army files. This heroic soldier was a family member of a current neighbor of mine, Samantha Wiley. Clarence Robertson is another family member of Samantha Wiley. The World War II veteran fought from 1944 to 1945. He entered the Navy in 1940 and worked on a destroyer warship. After coming home from the war, he never spoke much about his experience in the military with his family, so we can only guess the brave acts he performed while serving during the war and beyond. Alan Marr served in the United States Marine Corps for 10 years. He experienced years in combat tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. After that, he became an instructor to help military service members who suffered from PTSD. His heroism will always be remembered and appreciated. He is missed every day by his wife and daughter. Sergeant Edward Oblong was a loving father of two, had a wife, loved his job, and was always telling jokes and laughing. From 2007 to 2015, he served in the military as a mechanic. He did two military combat tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. His family tells us that he is missed every day. Mike Connor was a veteran of the Vietnam War who fought alongside friend and fellow airman Curtis G. Simpson, who also served in the United States Air Force from June 1961 to 1981. He was killed in action in a plane crash during the war over Ashao Valley in Vietnam. His widow gave birth to their first son two months after he was killed. Survivors of the crash were fellow airman Danny Russell, who broke his back during the crash, and the navigator who was hit in the elbow with a sh shrapnel from a surface-to-air missile. Basically, a missile was shot from their plane to the ground. These were recollect recollections of a friend, Curtis G. Simpson. Mike Connor's service will always be remembered along with his bravery of his fellow airmen. As a next generation, it is our responsibility to carry the job of telling their stories. We will always aim to keep the memories of the fallen alive and continue honor to honor our heroes. Hearing their stories is just one step, but a necessary one. Their unselfishness will always be the reason that we are able to live our lives the way it is. So to all the fallen soldiers out there, thank you for your service. I hope you learned something new about Memorial Day. Through this video, the Leadership Class of 2027 aims to have spread awareness about how we owe our freedom to those who have and are currently in service, especially those who lost their lives along the lines of duty. 
Have a good day, Bulldogs. Bye, Bulldogs. Have a great day, Bulldogs. Have a great weekend, Bulldogs. Bye, Bulldogs. Bye, Bulldogs. Bye, Bulldogs. Bye. Happy Memorial Day, Bulldogs.